cut off again. Sorry, y'all. Apparently, my uh, connection just does not like me today. Um, so I do apologize. This is take three <laughs> of our Corona cookbook uh, video. So, as I said, we do have some rice going here in our pot that is cooking, some Mexican rice. We have our um, shredded chicken going for our flautas, our tor tortillas are ready to go. So again, this is our take three, <laughs> um, but we're gonna get this right. So in our blender over here, um, we are blending up, well, you can't see because my husband is standing right in front of it, but we are, Blending up our avocado, our crema, we have some cilantro in there as well, along with um, onion and um, don't hold it, don't hold it. Okay, you're gonna need to put some lime juice in there that's a little bit too thick so if you're having trouble if this doesn't um, blend up right away just add a little bit of like I said lemon or lime juice and that will um, give you the nice smooth texture that you need I am going to go ahead here and get some shells going so that you can see what that looks like while he gets that blended and People always ask like who cooks in the family um, and do. both my husband and I cook uh, depending on the time of year one of us cooks more than the other but we do like cooking together and most folks will tell you that we make our best meals um, when we cook together. So we are, we are in the kitchen a lot with each other. So I'm going to fry up these shells just so I can show you the difference like I said between the two corn. Um, this first one that I'm going to show you is um, the Vargas corn, uh, which once again is local here from uh, Saginaw, Michigan. And uh, we're gonna get those nice and crispy. Um, and I don't know about y'all, but um, pretty much every Mexican household has what we call our, our dedicated, um, fry pan so mine is this uh, cast iron pan here and that's basically the pan that stays on the stove or in the oven uh, filled with oil ready to go with whatever we need fried so um, we don't fry a lot I mean because mostly my husband prefers flour tortillas um, so even like with tacos and stuff we do flour so we don't fry a whole whole lot um, but you know so right now i am frying up the milagro and i'm going to show you the difference here between the two in just a second um, and we'll just shake those out okay so by look these aren't going to look a whole lot different like this is the vargas corn and you can see it pretty much stayed you know how it was when I put it in, just now crispy. But the Milagro, you can kind of see like it, it puffs up a little bit. And so when it crunches, it's a little bit more flakier and a little bit more delicate than, um, than the Vargas corn would be. So, he is just about done blending that up. And we are going to get going on, show you how we do put together these flautas here. So I'm going to turn you around again. All right, so for the flautas, all we do is we take our um, shredded chicken here. And we're just going to fill this up with a little bit of chicken. And then we're just going to roll it. This is smaller than what... Um, you can't see me and so I just filled that with chicken I'll show you how much I put in there if that was my husband's it would be way bigger because he has a heavy hand and so we are going to just roll this up here and then we are going to take our toothpicks hey I need it or at least I need an extra set of hands so um, and then we're just gonna take a, a toothpick here in a second and we're going to um, insert that hold this babe hold up my camera Oh, there you go. 
and to hold it together so that we can fry. And we're just going to secure with the toothpick. I'm trying not to stab myself. Oops, it's like not. There we go. Okay, and I did rip it a little bit, so some of that's going to pop when I put it in. But that's basically it. It's not super pretty. But then I'm going to put this in the grease. And we are just going to fry that up until it is nice and toasty golden. And it's going to be so yummy and delicious. Um, the pup, not really like the chalupa um, because that is more soft. It's more of a soft texture. This one is a little bit more crunchy and flaky. Um, but that's the that's the funny thing about Mexican food too. Depending on no none of us cook stuff the same. It's just not a thing. I guess it depends on which region like our our families originally came from. And then of course here in the U.S. we have Tex-Mex, so that kind of blurs the lines. It can sometimes be tricky to figure out what is authentic Mexican and what's Tex-Mex. So now this is just nice and crunchy, um, and that's that's that for the flauta. And so we are going to show you now we have uh, the crema is done over here. Hey, Alicia, bring me that. Crema. So what we do with this is, and if you can hand me a plate, darling. That's because daddy was holding it. <laughs> okay, so this is what this looks like now. Uh, okay, so this is this done, right? So the way we're going to serve this up is we are going to take our flauta here. We are going to grab me a spoon. You only got three minutes. Yeah. Woman. So, um, yes. So then we're going to put some of this crema here on the side, and then we're going to put together the other um, situation for you. Um, doing this stuff is kind of hard. Uh, holding a camera. So, we're just going to, let me turn you around again so you can kind of see the consistency of this. So, this is, yes, it is super delicious. So, it just kind of like, you know, it's a nice little sauce. It's super, super delicious. Um, and then what we do is we dip our flauta in there. You can also take your... Um, yeah, be sure to take the toothpick out before you eat. Um, you can also... Um, if you like hot sauce or chile, uh, you can do that as well. So you hear that nice, lovely crunch from Alicia there. <laughs> um, okay, so now over here we have our uh, guacamole going on, and we are going to um, smash that up. Um, and we need, Alicia, can you give me the pan of chicken over there? So we are adding chicken to this as well. We have um, some diced up chicken that we fried earlier. Better on the grill. Better on the grill, but this is what we got going on too. And I fried it in bacon grease. This is not um, healthy Corona cookbook, y'all. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, we are going to add this chicken to our avocado here. Avocado, by the way, is um, aguacate in Spanish so we are going to just take and put that all in to the chicken down chick there's a chicken piece down okay dip yeah, it I made a mistake he made a mistake guys I was supposed to get hers first oh okay oh. so we are going to add some, we got some tomato, some onions, some cilantro, and some jalapeno that we are about to put in. So here's our cilantro that we're going to throw in, and we've got our diced jalapenos. And we used, Alisa, will you go grab us the can? The can of what? The jalapeno can. So what we used um, is this, uh, hey, baby, you have this. The, the pickled jalapeno peppers. And what we do is we just chop those up and throw those in there. And then we are also going to add a little bit of that jalapeno juice to um, the mixture as well. So the only difference between, um, yeah, so the avocado by itself is aguacate. And then once you add all the, the fixings to it is when it becomes guacamole. And then um, 
of course, chicken is pollo. And then we have here our tomate, our cebolla, and then cilantro, of course, is just cilantro. He's adding a little bit of sal. And ajo, which is garlic. And then we're just going to go ahead and mix that all together. And then we have some uh, jugo de limón. Funny story, in Spanish, lime and lemon are both limón, so you just got to figure out what's what. So, he's just going to go ahead and mix that up in all its yummy deliciousness. And then this mixture is what we are going to put on our tostada shell. And it's going to be yummy and delicious. So, and we are going to check on our rice in a few seconds here. I don't think it's done, and I actually think I need some more water. Um, that is my timer that's telling me that I am going over on our, our 15 minute Corona cookbook video here. Um, but I'm going to take an extra minute because of all our technical difficulties. So we are now going to take one of, Alicia, what'd you do with the plate? Can you come bring it to me? Yeah. You got to come back and taste sample. So we are going to put our mixture on top of our tostada show and spread that out and again you are welcome to add um chile or hot sauce to this if you like a little spice there's a little bit of spice in there because of the jalapeno but that's that and crunch again mmm so delicious that is what we got going on. Unfortunately, our rice did not finish in time. Um, that's still got a, way, a few more minutes to cook. But you'll know when that's done, when the rice grains kind of split at the sides. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is what God wants for your life. It's, it is so, so, so good. So we are going to go ahead and enjoy our dinner. Bless everyone because, like I said, my kids would have been doing leftovers today if it weren't for a Corona cookbook. And please log in and join us tomorrow for our homebound homily. And be sure to share the video and go check out, tell your friends to check out the Faith Community page. And if they like what they see, please like that page and share it with everyone. And I know I miss y'all, but listen, when we are, the world is ungrounded, like I'm still coming and you guys are, maybe it was meant to be because now you're in the new apartment and now, now I have a place to stay, right? Place to stay. And I can come and cook y'all all the Mexican food that you want. And of course, get my free meal from David Garber and my free cigar and drink from Christian. So, um, it is going to be good times when I finally make it to, um, Atlanta. Also, to be finishing off with my meal, I will be drinking what we call Mexican, Mexican Coke. Um, okay, and basically, <laughs> it, it literally is sent from Mexico, Echo Mexico, and it's just in the glass bottle, and we absolutely, everything tastes better in glass, y'all. So, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Corona Cookbook. Thanks for sticking with me through all the technical difficulties. Sorry about that. We're going to enjoy our dinner, and I love you all, and God bless. I could cook.